Hello everybody, c again, and today I'll be playing Grimora's mod. You know, the extremely requested and also extremely unique mod that exists here, Grimora's mod. Now I want to mention right away that I have played this mod three times now. All of them were like deaths in the first boss, one was death on the second boss. Reason for that is because the bosses are extremely hard, and um, not only are they extremely hard, but I have been called out that they have been made easier because I asked for it. So I don't know what the mod creator wanted this mod to be like. I guess they wanted to make it. You're going to beat it once and then never going to play it again. But whatever. <laughs> let's let's stop being negative. And let's go for positivity only. So wonderful. Let's run into this. And uh, now that we are no longer separated by that lovely tombstone, we may celebrate the end of a very long life and the end of inscription too. So yeah, let's get to it. This is obviously after Act 3, so it's uh, before everything gets deleted. And this is also the feeling we get. Oh, the fun we would have had together. Perhaps I would have had another... Um, perhaps I would have had another turn if you hadn't taken so long to defeat Leshy. Well, guess what? I didn't take long to defeat Leshy. Uh, but I should not complain. I will be at peace soon. Spiders out. And let's, uh, let's see our deck first of all. Uh, first of all, something I like about the mod, every single card has um, a mission to it. I guess because you cannot transfer sigils, so they just put the mission and everything. Uh, this is our deck. We start with a bone heap, a 1 cost 0 1 that gives you 4 bones. Well, it costs 1, so it gives you only 3 bones. And you cannot play turn 1, so it is what it is. Gravedigger gives you 1 bone each turn. Uh, 0 3, that is a fair card, obviously. Frankenstein, two, 5 cost 2 2, pretty mediocre in my mind. And Zombie, 2 cost 1 1, fair enough, I guess. So uh, out of the deck view and into this. By the way, you can move with clicking and also with WSD. So that goes to show that they actually, you know, a lot of time went into this by having two ways of moving around. So I like that too. I'm going to mention what I like and I'm also going to mention what I don't like. He spends his time alone, uh, alone digging for bones in hopes of finding a treasure just like his grandpa. The screaming terror. They go straight through to attack their prey. Uh, the dauntless bone hound. It leaps to oppose new creatures when they are played. It's 7. A 7 cost 2, 3, a 2 cost 1, 1, or a 1 cost 0, 3 that gives you bones. I mean, I would say the Gravedigger, but let's go Banshee. Because I know for a fact that a bunch of cards have 0. Like, like in general, this mod needs you to know a lot of things that will get played from Grimora so that you pick cards accordingly. Because in this mod, flying is actually good. Because she plays a bunch of units that are 0 ones, and you want to play your flyers in front of those, pretty much. Uh, something I want to mention here, I really, really like the fact that sometimes she doesn't play anything at turn one, like literally just pass. And I like it because, well, uh, that's not what Leshy does sometimes, but I, I guess it has been tested that it's extremely dangerous to not let players play. So, uh, you know what? I'm rushing through this a bit because I've played this before, but le let's take this in for a moment. First of all, we got a hammer here, which I really like because I asked for hammer because this mod needs a hammer. But obviously, because this has to be a challenging mod, um, the hammer is nerfed. You can use it three times and then you lose it, as far as I know. I'm not sure if you get it back after the boss fight because I have never tried to lose it on purpose, at least on my test runs. Uh, I love the fact that they have a unique and custom energy system here instead of having the flying drone. So that's very nice. And as I said, everything being lit up, look how awesome this looks. Like in general, the feeling and the whole mood of the mod is awesome. I have my gripes with the difficulty, obviously, like I already mentioned twice now. But um, yeah, I mean, the difficulty is what the mod creator wants. And as far as I know, the mod community loves challenging a hard fight. So it's a hard fight at the end of the day. A hard game mode. By the way, we might lose on the first boss. And you know what? I decided, because I've already tried this three times now, if I lose the first boss, I just rerun this. Just literally just do another run on the spot. Um, let's go with Skeleton. Yeah, we're gonna go skeleton here as we can't really play anything as the bone heap costs one. We take a hit here from the skeleton. Nice, you're dead. Uh, let's go with skeleton so we build up my deck really fast. Let's go. Duck. We get one bone out of that and one of this. In general, we're trying to scale as much damage as fast as possible. Let's go with skeleton into flyer and hope that she doesn't play. Um, Grimora doesn't play anything in front of it. Well, the flyer's dead. Let's continue with DPSing down. And we won. In general, I'm going to be trying to DPS down everything because otherwise we're dead. Let's go for a new card here. The walkers. So the family wishes to rest in peace. So it's a 4 cost 1-2 that gives you back the bones it costed. So it's a free unit pretty much. I like it. Not your ordinary undead. They search through a scrub yard for this gear. So it's a 6 cost 1-6. The idea here is that having a lot of life in this mod is important. Because, you know, 
Leshy, like, Grimora will always play cards. But uh, this is a trap. The first boss, uh, let me spoil the first boss. The first boss, every five turns or a random amount of number, there is like no warning, it just happens, uh, makes all your units have zero attack. And if, and if they die, then you get the unit back with the stat that it had. If you have this thing and it freezes, it's gonna become like a 06. I'm not sure if it's 06 or 01, but in any case, it's it's gonna get blocked in. Like if it's a 06, then it's it's definitely gonna get blocked in. Truly a sight to behold. A 15 cost 27. With what I have seen, this might even be a good card. <laughs> uh 15 cost. I don't think you can even get 15. Maybe in the second fight, like, there are no lights. The, in the boss fights, you don't get any buff whatsoever. There are no uh, candles that you get into bone units or anything. So anytime you die, you just are dead. I think I want to go for the walkers. It's like an almost free unit. This is mediocre in my mind. I mean, it's a 1-6. Let's try the armored zombie. Let's try the armored zombie. Honestly speaking, with as I said, with what I have seen, it might actually even be good. Let's see what we get. So, oh, I love this one. You strap one of your cards to the chair, empowering it. Of course, it doesn't hurt. You can't die twice after all. And here we're gonna buff something. Should I buff Frankenstein, Zombie, Armored Zombie, or Bench? Uh, I could buff Armored Zombie. Or I can buff Frank. Let's, uh, let's try to buff this. What is this? Shrilly creature could become more powerful. I, I don't know what this is, though. But uh, risk another moment under the stock. I cannot. I'm right clicking right now and nothing is happening. Push your luck or one more ability. You know what? Push my luck. YOLO. YOLO it! Of course. Of course, push my luck doesn't work out. And we're never gonna learn. You know what? I think I can learn. Can I? I, I, I tried to scroll down and it moved us downwards. Whoops. I tried to scroll down to stand up. Ah, here I can see what that was. Here I'm, I'm looking at this. Uh, looking at this. How fast can I go through this while also finding it? Whoop, it's here. Found it. This in tomb. Activate. Activate. Pay one bone to create the skill in your account. No! This was, this was insane! It was insane! We lost an insane card. I'm stupid. But how would I know? You cannot right click in there. I was trying, by the way. I even, tell, I even told you that I was trying to right click and it didn't allow me. So we lost something extremely good. And it is what... What is this? I have never seen her play this thing turn to project fi project just project it's um, erratic at the end of the owner's turn a car bearing the sigil will move in a random direction okay and it's a it's a one three that attacks both sides. okay we, we, we might die <laughs> and i can't even play the flyer here because the project is gonna kill it uh we're gonna play the bone heap so let's do this the reason I did this is because I'm going to play the Fra Frankenstein next turn. So I'm going to take one damage. And I'm going to get five bones. Ooh, sideways attacks. Okay, here I would say... You know what? Give me this. No, actually, give me this. Play this here. I'm going to try to kill this thing. Scratch. Of course, we would counter it there. Let's go here. Let's go boop. This is dead. Nice. A skeleton, who cares? Uh, let's play uh, this here and this here, so we will have two bones next turn. Let's go. Oh, I love when the animation that deletes cards happen. Like, yeah, this. You know, sometimes the cards get actually, you know, destroyed on the ground. Sometimes they just get deleted. I love it. I love it. I love it. In general, I like the, the aesthetic of the mod. I like. Sometimes the chests turn around, by the way. <laughs> Look at this. Like, the aesthetic of the mod, <laughs> it turns only left or right. Uh, as I said, the aesthetic of the mod, I like it. The balance of the mod, I'm not sure about it. Mm, Vengeful, Vengeful Spirit. It's a zero cost 1-1 one, one that is 3 energy. Coming for vengeance and a bit of fun too. I might take this. Black Doctor, ironically enough, not a real doctor. This is really, really, really important for the second boss fight, but uh, I think it's a bit too early for now. Project 5, I mean, I'm gonna take this. An experiment gone wrong. All right, it depends on your words. world view. It's a 5 cost 1-3 three that has 3 life. 3 life is important here. Let's go with Project 5. And uh, let's go to this fight so we have access to the chair. We have the Bone Hound and the Grave Dragon in my starting hand. And the Drogger is coming in. You know, classic opening here. Is this the Project Fight or is it... Yeah, it's the Project Fight. Literally the same fight as previously. Well, we're gonna handle it the same way then. Well, I guess not. 
Knock knock. I mean, Drogors are not something we have any problem with fighting, so just play this here. And um, play the Gravedigger in the very right corner? Let it get hit? Play this here so we start building up energy. Knock, yeah, we take a hit. I draw Frankenstein or something. And our Gravedigger. Ah, let's do damage to this. It's gonna kill my zombie, obviously. Trying to beat the, the, the project thing. We're gonna make, um, like, Grimora block her own board in. Let's go here, let's go here, let's go here. Now we will be doing 2 damage per turn, pretty much. Now, of course, it kills my one flyer. Uh... I guess I play this here and block it in. I mean, my flyer is dead already. Okay, let's start damaging this. Yep, this now moves. <laughs> Classic case of things moving and throw the calculations off. <laughs> Yep, and I think the fight is over. Like, I don't think she will play anything else. Okay, we won. Very nice. Time to go to the experiment. Things going fine. Let's see. I think I'm gonna YOLO the zombie. Actually, maybe the frying... You know what? Maybe let's get something good. This is that things die twice. Giving us double the bones. Uh, I don't want to risk losing the card. If I lose this card, we cannot win the next fight anymore. Okay, now this fight is extremely bad for us. Like, we don't have enough damage to deal with this. Brr, brr, I've been freezing for ages. Let's turn up the heat for a good fight. So what the, turning up the heat means is all the ice is taking up too much space. She says all the ice, but she only removes her own. So later she would play more ice things, but um, mine will stay frozen. Uh, I mean, classic chase of bone heap costs more than one. Let's go with we play the skeleton here and don't do anything. Knock, knock. We take three damage, and this three damage we took right now is why we will lose. Because it will take me a lot of time to come back from this. I don't know why this fight opens up with three damage coming your way, while you can only, and I mean only, play a single... Um, what is it called? You know, the thing I just played. It's literally the only thing you can play in turn one. Or you can play that Bone Digger, Hammer Slammer the Bone Digger, and then play something else. I guess you could do that too. Throw a card, let's go for real cards. Let's go here. Pass. I, I said I don't want to be negative, but... Okay, let's get rid of this. And let's also... I should have played the zombie there. Let's also play the Grave Digger. Where should I play the Grave Digger? Let's play the Grave Digger here and start doing some damage. Okay, Skeleton's coming in. Uh, let's throw a real card. Banshee. Let's go full on damage. Let's go, DPS wall. Maybe if I do 3 damage per turn, maybe we're gonna cut it. Nope, it's done. It's time for your cards to freeze, chill to the bone, and it's over. We just lost. <laughs> we just lost all our damage, and now she's gonna play some Dragoras and stuff. It's gonna be a very slow fight. Oh, Project is here. Oh, this might say... Oh, nope, I can't play it. Pass. Oh, play the Skeleton, that's good. That's actually good for us. Pass. Knock. Do I have my five? I don't have enough bones, by the way. Of course, something dangerous coming in. We're gonna take three damage here, which is gonna delay our turns even more. Let's let's sack the grave digger. Nice. So if she freezes Frankenstein, we're dead. We, we lost. We lost. That was it. This is how I lost the other two times too. Like, you do not have any indication for when it's gonna happen. I mean, wait a minute. Yeah, uh, right now, by the way, I, if I see in the console, there is written Freeze Counter 2, Freeze Counter 2, Freeze Counter 2, Freeze Counter 2, Freeze Counter 4, and then Freeze Counter 0, 1, 2, 4. So what I understand with this is that every time I have one unit that has one damage in the field, it increases the counter speed that she freezes us. So if you have four units, she's literally gonna freeze you the next turn. If you have two, two units, it's gonna take two turns and then she's gonna freeze you. That's what I understand from what I'm reading. Anyway, uh, these things are gonna unfreeze these. So maybe there is hope. I don't believe. Honestly speaking, I don't believe. With what I have seen, like, 
Did people run this mod from start to finish like 10 times and saw that they won most of the fights? I hope you guys know. By the way, sorry, I'm skipping everything here. She froze our units again, by the way. Um, and she has none from... <sighs> okay, this is gonna go out to the mod creators. If you run a mod and beat the fight, okay? If, if you run like a, a, a custom fight and you run it by actually doing the run with correct cards and then also doing some tests with not the best cards, you know, like me. I'm, I'm doing with the not best cards right now run. Okay, when you do those things... You should test this like 10 times, maybe 20, maybe 30. I mean, it's a lot of time, I know. But um, yeah, I mean, you have to test these things. And when the number is below 50% or below 60% or below 70% on your first boss fight, you are doing something wrong. Oh, except, except, except if you actually want an insanely hard mod for no reason. All the ice is taking up too much space. She says all, but only on freezes her own. And now at least uh, these are gonna open up mine, but still Drogos are coming from the back line, so it's not like I have any control whatsoever. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? Give me a sec here, give me a sec. I'm, I'm only, I'm, I'm crying this whole time, but... You see this? Does this feel fair to you? And do you know what's actually keeping us alive? By the way, I cannot remove these at all. The thing that's keeping us alive is that I knew that this whole mechanic is happening, so I have a Gravedigger that is unfazed from getting frozen. Here, three strikes and it's out. And therefore, I have one last spot open to actually do two damage per turn. That is the only thing that's keeping us alive right now. And this thing gives us the Frankenstein back. And we actually win. Oh, next turn we would have lost, by the way. Because I was running out of cards. And when you run out of cards, then you know, um, what is it called? The, um, th this mod is too hard in my mind. Oh, come on, dude, I'm still cold. Let's fight again soon. The glitch effect was awesome. The next area was made by one of my ghouls, Sawyer. He says it's terrible. Yeah. As I said, aesthetics is awesome. The feeling is awesome. The difficulty is not fun. Perhaps one of these will entice you. By the way, you can play the mod for free. You can obviously, down if, if you have an inscription, obviously, you can just download it. Uh, when all hope is lost, you can always count on this demon straight from hell. 9 cost 6-6 six, six that die. I'm gonna play 9 and it's gonna die? Okay. Amoeba! I'm most likely gonna get the amoeba. It's like a 2 cost 1-2. The amorphous amoeba. Its sights, um, its sigils are ever-changing. And the bone lord's horn. The horn of the bone lord. You do not want to find out what's inside. It's a 3 cost. 2 energy. Gives you 4 bones. And also has something inside of it. I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this. I don't know what's inside of it, but it's supposed to be a legendary, so theoretically. And I also love this aesthetic here, like the bones overall. And the, the board, like everything on this mod oozes with theming and nice, you know... I can say, the mod looks nice. I like very much that the mod looks nice, but I definitely disagree with the difficulty of everything. Let's continue with running around. Skelamangus, 6 energy, but it's a 4-1. I'm most likely going to take this. They have learned the ancient spell of death. I'm going to take the Skelamangus. Six, bo uh, 6 energy might be a bit too much, but the way everything plays slowly, we will have easily enough time to play it. Bone Lord Sword is here. Um, Bone Heap is here. These are 1-1s. One mm, I can't... No, let's, just, let's just play the skill. Let's take 1 damage. Knock, knock. Okay, that thing is not really affecting us. So let's clear the void of enemies. So we're gonna go with one and two. This is dead. This is gonna give us four bones. Nice. Now is a good chance to throw this in the bin. So let's go here. We're gonna go. This gets binned. This gets one damage. And uh, this is gonna be six energy next turn. Let's see what we get out of this so we have an idea of what's gonna happen. It's a two one. Crazy good. Uh, I have a few bones. I'm about to take for damage. Let's reveal card and hope it can YOLO block. I mean, I think I should YOLO block this. Otherwise, yeah, it's better to YOLO block and than take for damage. Next turn we're winning anyway. You know, this Bone Prince might actually carry us. I never had this card ever. Like, it's a three cost, easily playable, and then it becomes a two one. And it also gives you four bones. Like, I think that thing is gonna carry us. This is an event, by the way. This looks like a fight, but it's an event. And I think this event is fun, too. So, a lone grave digger still sits solemnly in front of you. In front of it, it is a mountain of earth left by someone who's already passed on. Perhaps a member of your undead horde could dig them up. 
This wouldn't be without repercussions, of course, as death is never permanent. So what this does is makes a card cost half, but it also gets brittle. I think the only card that I'm okay with doing that to would be the Bone Lords um, thing, because, I mean, yeah, obviously. So let's make this cost one. Nice. Uh, torn from the eternal respite with the reluctant groan, the Bone Lord's horn shambles back to its rightful place among your horde. And then there's more, its bones hollowed through by the creatures of the soil, leaving the dead behind the rotten husk of its former self. There's more, though, though the weight of consequences also seems lifted. Is there more? But then he came back to your army and helped you out fight. And then he came out of the earth and then at the end of the turn... <laughs> I'm having fun, like, text upon text, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, for once we have an easy fight? Or is this gonna be like craziness or Oh, wait a minute. We're starting with a bone. Ooh. We start with one bone. And this needs two energy. Nice. Wait, does this not need six? It seems like it needs five. Uh, I mean, just, just attack, I guess. Just attack. Get one more bone. It's a... It's... Um, yeah, we know what that is. Let's play this here. Nice. Okay. As far as I know, uh, they have... You know what? L let's not risk here. I, I have a feeling that they have nerfed Brittle. After attacking the carbon... You know, okay. This says after attacking, but when I did my test runs, Brittle seemed to just happen on its own. Give me a sec to see. I'm wrong. It is actually after attacking. Good to know. <laughs> uh, let's go real card. Gravedigger. Gravedigger can block that hit. How much damage do I need to do? I think one and one, right? If I do one more, I win. I should not have played the Grave Digger, by the way. Okay, let's now go with Skelemangus. We have 5 energy, so it is actually 5 energy. It's gonna snipe the Bone Hound out of existence, but we're obviously gonna bait the Bone Hound away. Pop up, pop, nice. Okay, we also tested the Bone Lord thing, uh, Brittle thing, actually not attacking. You know, I don't know why I... I guess something happened and I didn't understand what exactly happened when I was doing my test runs. Anyway... What is this? 1-1 one, one underwater. By the way, if we don't get poisonous, we're dead on the next fight. Poltergeist. 1-1 one, one This is a Kingfisher. Yeah, it's a Kingfisher. Let's go with just a skeleton and the next turn zombie, most likely. We can put the zombie against the Poltergeist. Oh, that's something that evolves, though. This is a 2-2 two -two that becomes... I don't know what. Uh, let's go with... A real card. Grave Digger, nice. You know what? I'm gonna play the Grave Digger. Let's build up, let's build up. I'm stupid. Let's be stupid. Works too. So this is gonna evolve, as far as I know, into 3-2. Nice, the Banshee's here. Let's go with the Zombie here, so we counterbalance the damage that does. We're gonna lose the Grave Digger here. It's a 3-3. Okay, that's really bad for us. I don't think we can do 3 damage. Uh, actually, I can do 3 damage. Can I take 3 damage? Ah, oh, that was bad. I need to do damage. I guess I play this. That was a very bad move on my part. Just 1 damage. I, I needed to play first the bone on this, but then I would have taken too much. That's a 2-1. At least the right side is we do 1 and take 1. Now I can make the left side also be we do one, we take one. Can I draw the... Fr nice, Frankenstein's here. Okay, let's let's play Frankenstein. Nice, now we do three damage return. We take two damage return. What happened there? Oh, it, it died twice. Okay, I got it. I got it. Now let's go for the damage while also in the meantime, you know, buying time. Frankenstein plus bone heap is a good combo. Yeah, it's gonna give us like a million bones. Let's get a new card. Explosive pirate. We might need this. Um, what's what? That's what happens when you play with bombs. It's a one cost zero two that lit fuse. A card bearing the sigil loses one health per turn. When a card bearing the sigil dies, the creature opposing it as well as adjacent friendly creatures are dealt in damage. This I might take this just for the boss of this area. And cut from an ancient god, the dead hand took on its own life. It uh, it draws me five four cards. Throw my hand away, draw four cards. I think I want to get this. Yeah, let's take this. I'm telling you, I will need it for the final boss. Let's hope we don't fight poison now. 
Wait a minute, there is no reason to fight this. Let's first get a new card. Bone heap again. A surprising pile of bones, you can have it. Drowned soul, a six cost. Oh, uh, yes. Going into what well wasn't the idea. This is good. I'm gonna take that. We take the 6-6 six, six poisonous. And uh, at this point, the, the, the thing with the lit fuse is useless. But uh, we have it, and we might use it. And we might even use the hammer to instantly just pop it. Mangus. By the way, every single fight I'm going in is a risk of my of losing. <laughs> because, um, yeah, in this mod, you cannot actually... Um, yeah, you don't have lives. So if you lose, you die. And we just got hit with uh, 3 damage on the left and 2 damage on the right. We're obviously going to play the, something to send the dog off to the left. So now we block the dog hit, we just take two. Let's hope she doesn't play anything. Nice. I can play the... Wait a minute. Skelemangus can backline kill the Revenant. But I don't have enough energy for that. Uh, I can play the Frankenstein on the left. Transfall is also here. Yeah, I can play the Frankenstein on the left. So we might lose our unit here, but he will also not do anything to us. Plague Doctor isn't really that bad for us. Uh, Skelemangus, no dry card first. Let's go with real. I have two bones. Oh, that was lucky. Not, not really lucky, but you know, let's start doing damage. Knock, knock, one damage. We take one, two. Let's go for damage. Let's go here. This is one damage, two. Nice. Everything gets sliced up. And uh, at this point, we go for a quick win. Whoop. And we win. Man, I was very negative in the beginning because of my losses, but I, I still don't think we can win, by the way. It seems like we're flying through this, but trust me, we're not done yet. Uh, give somebody a sigil. Give somebody a sigil. I can give it to Frankenstein. I could give it to Project. I could give it to Banshee. Although Banshee's a flyer and I don't trust flyers, honestly. Uh, zombie. What is this? Surely your creature would become more powerful. But you would need to risk an armor. You know what? I'm not gonna risk. I don't even know what this does. And um, yeah, I don't know what it does. Can I see my deck for a moment? What is this? Possessive. A card bearing the sigil cannot be attacked from the opposing slot. The opposing slot instead attacks one of its adjacent slots if possible. No, this was a bad sigil. Ah, it is what it is. It is what it is. It cannot get attacked, but actually it directs the damages to sideways. I mean, it's good if I have a... Actually, it's not that bad because I can send damage into bone heaps and grave diggers. So these are one ones. We had fought this fight before, so it's not really that hard to just repeat what we did the previous time. Let's go skeleton into bone heap. That should give us five bones. Yep, the ball. We had this fight previously, so it's not really that hard. Now we're gonna go this into this. Let's go. The obol is a fly blocker for some reason, although you know it's 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 definitely not flying. <laughs> Skeleton Mangus is here for the next turn insta win. So we do three, and next turn we win. Okay, I guess we don't win. Uh, I mean, we win anyway because we do three damage. And there is no overkill, so everything is going fine. Everything is going good. Let's continue moving. Let's fight. Let's do, 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 do. Could I have skipped this? Oh, it's not a fight. It's actually the. Whoops. I should have skipped this. Can I leave this? I don't want this. I don't want this, man. Uh, let's make the zombie. Let's make this. Uh, can I choose something else? Like, I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose this either. Let's go with zombie. I'm really disappointed with this being forced on us. I mean, I should have just not gone to it. Obviously, <laughs> the Gravedigger looks, looks very similar to the other one. Look away. Look away. If you want to fight, get it over quick. Okay, so... Time for my hated boss right now. Okay, I, I hate this boss. What this boss does, first of all, it will spam a 1-1 one -one every single turn. So we will have a race here with who wins and who not. First problem. Second problem, he will steal one bone from us every two or three turns. That specifically is going to kill us. Specifically the fact that we're going to lose one bone every two, few turns. I think I want to play great. No, I want to play bone heap here. And then... Grave Digger here to buy us time. And use the skeleton too. Like, play this. Don't use the skeleton. Uh, pass this turn. So I have the next turn skeleton. Play two skeletons and kill both of these. I think I have to play this very smart and very methodical. 
I'm stupid, man. Very smart, very methodical. Hey, literally, literally, next move is not doing what he said he's gonna do. I'm not gonna play the Banshee yet. Should have played the Skeleton, obviously. He'd take a bone out of us. Black Duckers coming in. Okay, let's buy time. And, uh... Okay, this is gonna die. Okay, now we need to reverse the damage. So I'll go here. I will play the Drowned Soul on the very left. Let's play the Flyer and let's start doing damage. Yeah, you take bones away. Yeah, yeah. Poison, of course, coming in. Okay, let's go here. Now this is gonna stay there forever, pretty much. Pass. We do two damage. We lose the Grave Digger part of the plan. We lose the Banshee not part of the plan. Let's go here, play Bone Lord here, and also kill the Skeleton. Both of these are gonna die. Okay, I've never beaten this, by the way. Yep. Classic uh, a million units coming in. 1-1. One, one. Uh, can I... I can skip this phase, but I want to keep the Skelemangus the, the Skele for the next phase. Gravedigger? Would be nice if I could have sacrificed... Uh, uh, let's play the Gravedigger here, buys us some time. Okay, we take a hit. Nice. Want to have a clean void for when the Skill of Magus needs to join. Okay. Yep, give him bones. Nope, you're not gonna kill my unit. Let's win. Okay, okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. By the way, everything looks awesome. Uh, is this guy with... That's not the pirate, by the way. This is uh, the one that got bitten by a dog. Oh no, he has arrived, run! This. The Hellhound. He gave us two bones back, by the way. The Hellhound has killed me before. Who would have thought? <laughs> um, yeah. Do you see this? Does this feel fair to you if you don't have poison? Imagine not having poison and arriving at this fight. It 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 blocks everything. It has borrower. And it has a fly blocker. So what this does, it... Imagine th be having this board without the poison. It's like, imagine if this was uh, this thing. Project, project, uh, project. And I played this here. What do you think would happen? It would take two damage from the bone re uh, prince, and then it would take another two. It would have had eight. It would be over here, kill the grave digger. Next turn, I do another four damage to it. Comes over here, kills us. Literally kills us, by the way. Anyway, uh, good thing I have played this before. Drowned soul, poisonous, killed this. Uh, by the way, I want you guys to play this mod and see for your own. Maybe you're a pro, maybe you're a master player or whatever. But I definitely had my struggles. Tries to block, dies from poison, and we do six damage and just skip everything here. Not even gonna care about this whole fight. And I think I'm gonna try to win the next fight like that too. Thanks for getting it over with. And don't ever return. I'm not. Nice glitch. I love the animations, man. The next arena won't be so easy. I asked Royal to do his best, making it impossible. You know what? At this point, we have arrived at the third fight. So if we lose, we lose. I'm okay with it. Let's see what we get. Uh, screaming Skull. <laughs> Only pain. Nothing else is felt by the skeletal head. What a pity. Attacks everything. Area of... Area of effect strike. A card being the sigil will strike its adjacent slots and each opposing space to the left, right, and center. So it kills our own units. Does it also damage us? If it also damages us, it's an extremely stupid card. But if it only just kills my units, then I guess it's fair. Amoeba and Spirit of Ember. I think I like this. A trickster spirit fleeing and leaving behind its flames. I'm gonna take this. This is like a free win card. When a card by the sigil moves, it leaves a trail of embers. The warmth of the embers shall enlighten nearby cards. Yeah, this is a very powerful card. Like, it moves every turn and leaves behind, like, a 0-1 that gives buff to left and right, also giving itself a buff. So, first turn it does 1, then it does 2. And then the third turn, you have 2 flames, so the one buffs the other, and then one of them attacks and dies and something like that. This is, like, an insanely powerful card. And this looks fun, but... If it attacked only my units, then I would be okay, but I'm pretty sure it will also attack me. So, I will lose life for this, so I'm not gonna take it. Let's go with Spirit of Embers. I mean, it's 6 energy, but it is what it is. Whoa, barrels. Is this a Reaper? He will provide a helpful or harmful curse upon your army if you leave him an offering. I hope for your sake he is feeling generous. So we're gonna lose a card. Maybe I should get rid of one. Of, um, I can get rid of the zombie, like... From all of my cards, I think the zombie is the most stupid one. It's just a 1-1. One, one. Like, it's literally a worse than drawing... Yeah, let's throw this out. Now he's gonna be like, that's a bad card you gave me. 
The Born Lord has been generous. Gravedigger base health has increased. What? All of them or only one? Only one. Okay, so it chose a random card from my deck and buffed it randomly. Ah. Eh. eh. The fact that you can remove a card from your deck is good. The event itself... I don't like random events. Like, I mean, I do like uh, push your luck mechanics that are based on randomness and luck, obviously. You know, push your luck. But uh, like the flames and stuff, or, or even like the painter, you choose one card and it either nerfs it or whatever. But this event, like you lose a card from your deck and then another random card gets either a buff or a nerf. I don't know. It's it's another thing that is randomness that just makes everything harder. By the way, I, don't, I have no idea what fights we're gonna find here. We already I already see like an infinite bone army from this thing. In case you don't know what this is, it moves around. It's always underwater, so you can attack it and always leaves behind a one-one. So this is already infinite units and bone prints coming in with a two-one. Um, yeah, Let, let's hope we can somehow survive. At least we start with two bones. So that is actually really good. Let's go with. Bone Heap on the left to buy ourselves some time. Could go for Frankenstein. No, not really. Let's go Bone Heap on the left. And uh, I guess we play the Skeleton too. I mean, no, I'm going to play the Skeleton next turn to kill the Bone Prince. So let's pass here. We're going to take one damage from the this thing, leaving things behind. But here. Grave Digger, nice. Let's go with Skeleton over here. And I would even say Frankenstein over here. Because it's, it's going to take a while for the boat to go around. Which is what I want to achieve, obviously. I want to delay the... Ah, of course. Ah, of course. Uh, I can do up to... 3 damage right now, right? I, I can actually do 4 damage. Yeah, let's go for the win. I go 1, 2, 3, 4. That should be enough for the win. Nice. I should always try to win as fast as possible. Always. I should never... I should never play the long game. Never, ever. Because uh, we're gonna run out of cards before uh, Grimora is gonna stop spawning things. Let's see. Uh, D, D what? D bro D block. So this is a zero one. By the way, awesome, awesome, awesome art. What is this insanity of a card? I love it. I love it. Also, and this is the thing that makes us attack the allies next to it, right? It's not the opposing side instead attacks of its strategies. Okay, so this is literally we play the banshee behind it and we just get free damage off. I mean, let's start with this. Two damage turn one. It's pretty decent on this in this specific. Okay, you cannot play anything if you don't want to. Oh, it even works on flyers? Why? For what reason does that work on flyers? But we're winning anyway. Very nice. I was playing the safety block there. Uh, this is buff a card. Give it a sigil. You know what? We can just do it even only once. Just to get... I should have gone to get a new card first. Uh, what over here needs a sigil on it? I guess I can put another one on Frankenstein. Or one on Bone Heap. Do I need a sigil on Bone Heap? This thing has never... I have never drawn this. Let's put another one on Frankenstein. Actually, put one... No, I don't want to put sigils on Flyers because there are a bunch of sigils that are really bad on Flyers. It gives us... Surely your creature could become more powerful. No, we're not going to risk anymore. Now it gives us a... Is that literally the... Gives us a... Rabbit? Yeah, it literally gives rabbit. Good, good I guess. It, it's good. I think I can skip these fights. Oh, it's a fight for this. I don't want that. Maybe if I... Oh, nothing, nothing again. No treasure is left anymore. This... Uh, the Dissenter. Activate, pay two bones to create a skeleton in your hand. This is decent-ish. Sarcophagus, this is even better. This is a 3-3. Three, three. The circle of mummy lord, never ending. We're gonna take the four cost 3-3, three, three, because, you know, it's a 3-3. Three, three. And uh, honestly, I'm gonna... I want this event. There is another... I, I want this event. Let's go first get a new card. I want this event. Everybody's watching at me. I want this event, uh, this one, because I want to make the sarcophagus cost 2. So it's a 2 cost 0-2 with brittle. Mummy lord, the 8 cost 3-3. Three, three. The circle of mummy lord is never ending. Yep, uh, this is a free unit, a three cost, one one. I think we're gonna get the free unit. Project five, I mean, <laughs> project five is also really important. It's five cost attacks both sides. I think I'm gonna go with the vengeful spirit. Three units are free. And uh, yeah, let's go get the event that makes my card cheaper. Let's hope we don't lose here because there is a chance we're gonna lose in the random fight. 
Which is gonna be really bad, obviously, but there is a... Oh, no, we're gonna lose. <laughs> this is a very hard fight. Oh, this is gonna take a while to evolve. At least... At least Frankenstein can help. Let's go here. This, this costs five. Frankenstein into skeleton, maybe? Most likely Frankenstein into skeleton. Yep, now this has two attacks, so it will kill Frankenstein. Why would I play Frankenstein it's, if it's about to die? Yeah, I can I can just play the skeleton first. I can play Frankenstein on the left. Should I play skeleton here and Frankenstein here? Kill this? Yeah, I can I can handle that with skeletons. Not only skeletons, I can also handle it with the bone sword. Yes, I just need to buy some time. I know I'm gonna take a hit here, but this thing is not that dangerous. The flames, as you see, this is insanely powerful, by the way. But it's not really that dangerous, that's what I mean. <laughs> well, that's what I said. Uh, let's go with... It's gonna move to the... It's, this is gonna go down, this is gonna go left. Frankenstein will do two damage. This needs... Okay, this needs five, and this needs... Both of no, this needs four, right? Hmm. Well, let's this will move to the right. No, this will not move to the right. This is getting blocked here. This comes down. This stays where it is. So we we do two and we take three. I'm okay with doing two and taking three. Am I? I think I am. And now that I think about it, let's not take three. Let's take two. Okay. Nope. Now I can play the Skelemongus. Or the Drowned Soul. Nope. I only can play the Skelemongus. This costs four? Yeah, this costs actually four. Uh, okay, let's kill this. This is gonna come in doing three damage too. But uh, we sh still should be able to handle this. We take three. Zombie. That zombie is not really that bad to us. For us. I need to kill the flame right now. So let's draw this. Let's draw the poison soul over here. Let's play this over here. So both of these are dead. We take one. We do two and we take one. The reason I want to kill that is because otherwise this coming in will kill my Frankenstein. Now we'll only draw real cards as my Frankenstein has built up my army of bones. And um, yeah, well, we, go, we draw our own ember, <laughs> which is not really playable the way I have set up the board. But I don't think it really matters. Well, I wasted already the energy. Both, both backlines dead. We do five damage. Next turn we're winning. 2-2. Two, two. Okay, next turn we're not winning. <laughs> Let's go here into this. Now we do 3 and we take nothing. Yeah, we did win. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go down here to make one of our cards cost half. Let's make this, obviously, as uh, there is no downside in giving this brittle. Actually, there is, because evolution keeps the brittle sigil. Well, it's a 2 cost that after a, two, after a turn becomes a 3 cost. Uh, a 3-3 three, three and dies. So it's a 3 damage card. Let's bin. What should I bin? I don't know if the exploding pirate is important. Let's bin the exploding pirate. I hope this doesn't hurt too much. Manchi cost has increased. Ah, this is so bad, man. Okay, oh, man. Guys, do not create feel bad mechanics, man. Do not do that. Don't do that, man. Don't inc don't randomly just make the player like. I have read somebody saying that games like uh, Slay the Spire have um, events that have negatives associated to them. No. No, every single thing that is negative in that game also has a positive to it. Like, this part... What is the positive? That I removed the card from my deck? Like, what's the positive? <laughs> I don't know what to explain. In the normal game, you remove a card from your deck with that and get one more bone. In this, you remove a card from your deck and one random card gets higher cost. It's the worst thing you can do in a game like this. Like, higher cost? Are you crazy? You never put higher cost on card games. Uh, let's go here into, I would say, Gravedigger. Let's play the Gravedigger here on the right. And uh, I'm going to keep the Skeleton because I might need it. Bone Heap dies. We get five bones. Nice. Let's go here. 
I would say we play this for damage and this for assassination purposes. Boop, boop. This will start moving to the left, but it won't really affect us. Nice. He backline killed his own unit. Very nice play there, Grimora. Uh, let's go with real cards. Bone Lord Sworn. You know, this will take a turn to actually evolve, but it's going to happen. Nice backline kill. Continue with real cards. Uh, I don't have enough bones. Pass. Knock to damage. And we win. This blocked itself in. Oh no, it did not. Well, doesn't really matter. Because we're winning anyway. Mm, let's go for a... Go for a drawn soul for free damage. Nice. Maybe we're gonna win here. Maybe we're gonna win here. Man, I might, I might sound negative, but... <laughs> I like the mod. I don't like the difficulty of it. Let's, uh... Okay, that's gonna give free buff to something. You know what? I'm gonna put buffs on the Vengeful Spirit. As simple as that. As simple as that. Where is it? Here it is. Let's go. This is useless. Completely useless. This is uh, when it uh, when it gets hit, it swaps life with damage. I'm gonna buff it again, and if it dies, it dies. Bye. Good riddance. You weren't the chosen one anyway. Let's go for the final boss fight, and as far as I know, it has music. War. I see you made it to me, Chef Challenger. I've been waiting for a worthy fight. And that's the music. What do we get? Uh, three damage, turn one coming in. At least, uh, at least I can play Bone Heap this time. Also, I can also play the Sarcophagus. The Sarcophagus can block the hit of the Summoner. And the next turn do three damage to get us back into the fight. And in the meantime, I can play this Bone Heap next turn while also playing the skeleton to kill the summoners specifically. I think that's how I'm gonna play this. So we play this here, we block the hit, while also setting up the next turn this becoming 3 damage, and next turn I play Bone Heap over here so it blocks the zombie hit, and Skeleton over here so it kills the summoner. Okay, Skeleton's coming in, that's not really any negative to us. Yeah, it keeps brittle as I knew. Yeah, I will enjoy the Lagoon of Moonlight. You will what? I don't know what you meant, man. Uh, let's go here. Nice, that's really good. We're gonna keep it in hand for a bit. Let's. I don't have bones. No, don't do this to me. Oh, lit fuse. The card bearing the sigil loses one health per turn. When the card bearing the sigil dies, which is gonna be the next turn, it does 10 damage to everything. What turns do I have? Still alive. I do three. Will this die instantly? Will, will the skeleton be fast enough on attacking, or will it die first? I think Brittle happens after attack, so it will attack and instantly die, and then explode and kill my right side. So we do the same plan, with the difference being that the summoner will do two to us. So we do three, take three. This is really bad. No, it didn't die instantly. I was... <laughs> I was wrong, it didn't die instantly. Uh, bone mechan uh, game mechanics. Let's go with... Okay, bone heap on the left. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So we go skeleton here. This is dead. Bone heap on the left. That is dead too. Actually, it's not dead, but you know. Pass. Okay. Okay. Uh, I need to do damage right now. Okay, I can draw a non-real card. Like, the skeleton kill this. And then also play the Bone Lord's Horn here. Making us take one damage. And evolving the Bone Lord's Horn. Yeah, let's do that. So we go here. Wait. I can do the same thing by playing the Bone Lord's Horn. No, 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 I cannot do the same thing by doing that. Let's go here and here. So we will only take one damage next turn. Okay. Okay, I will kill the summoner now. Okay, got the permanent bot on the field. Okay, that's a boom. Grave digger. Pretty useless. I guess I have a forced pass here. My bone sprints is useless, dead. Did my card have brittle? Oh, it had fuse. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> no. Let's play this here and I'm gonna hammer slammer it if need be. I'm gonna play the drowned soul. I will keep the drowned soul as a pocket win. Okay, good thing we're keeping pocket cards. 
Let's play the Grave Digger here as a pocket defense. I'm gonna play the Mangus the round I'm gonna try to win. Okay, 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 okay. Grave Digger will explode, not a problem, not a problem. Should I skip this phase? I can draw an unreal card, play a Skelemangus and win. I mean, I can also draw a real card. Just take three damage. We're gonna run out of three cards. I have four cards. One of them is the 2-2, two -two. one of them is the 1-3. If I play the 1-3 here, it will attack 1-2 and move. Next turn, we're gonna take three damage and then we're gonna do kill, damage. Yeah, I, I, if I draw that. I drew the Spirit of Embers. This is really good. I don't want to play the Spirit here. We will, we will take two damage from this, but the Spirit is very powerful. Play the Spirit, yeah. Us. Kills this, moves to the left, leaves the flame behind. Now the Grave Digger will also be attacking. We take two damage, it's okay. I would say we do this. Backline kill the Revenant. Very nice for us. This is dead, this is dead, backline's dead, that is dead. Nice, 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 this is going very well. This is going very well. So now this is two damage, this will do one damage, this will kill this, or explode. Or it's, it's either this is gonna die when it attack, or all of these are gonna attack. Okay, all of them attack, nice. Now both of them will go away. Okay, nice to know how that mechanic works. Explode, please. Thank you. Am I winning right now? Do I need to play anything? I don't think I need to play anything. I think we're winning and I'm gonna keep my hand because I don't know what the mechanics are. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. I'm full on afraid. Ye be a tough nut to crack. Ready for round two. Explosions. Yar, I will enjoy the kaboom. This? This is gonna die? I don't care. We win. Like, I'm winning right now. I'm winning right now. Bye. Yeah, bye. Got him. There was no mechanic from transitioning mechanics. Nice. Nice. I overestimated my skill. Good luck, challenger. Good luck? What do you mean? Nope, everything gets deleted. It's over. Hello again. I'm excited for you to see the last one. Uh-oh. I put it together myself. Let's see if you can beat all odds and win. I, I'm not sure I will, man. I'm not sure I will. I'm really afraid that this is gonna kill us. Like, I have no idea what the mechanics do. Nothing dies once. Three cost, one, two. Gives us a bunch of bones. A skeletal beast. It calls in more of its kind. Four cost, one, one. That does what? Screeching call. Active. Pay three energy for a card bearing the sigil to summon a wyvern in your hand. So it's fecundity, but with three energy, with extra steps. Four bones for a one, one? Spore digger. It's a digger, but it does double. By the way, it should be a zero, six. Uh, a poor, brutalized soul. It's... It's Mycelia, probably two soil, ground, and sprayed. I mean, this and this do the same thing. This gives you more bones. This also gives you more bones. I don't like the Wyvern. Let's go with the Spore Digger and uh, hope we draw it in my opening hand and uh, hope we somehow survive. I'm all, and I, I should always be drawing real cards. Oh, there is a whole area here. Where am I? Am I in this corner? Yes. Uh, we have two forced fights and then Grimora. We're going to skip everything in between. <laughs> I like how everything is looking at us. Why are you guys looking at me like that? We might die before we even get to Grimora. Is this for us? Can I use this? Uh, Mummy Lord, 3-3. Three, three. I mean, I'm gonna throw this in front of the Mummy Lord, obviously. And uh, we're gonna pass. And then I'm gonna throw the Grave Digger next turn. Okay, is this actually for me? I think it's for me. So if I play this here, can I then use this? First of all, let's play the Sargophagus here so we do 3 damage next turn. No, it's not for me. So this should give us like a skeleton if it was for me, but it's not. Why did I not play Project? Nobody knows. Uh, let's... Uh... Is there any reason for us to kill this? I guess there is some kind of reason, right? I don't want to play this yet. Maybe I should. Uh, let's leave it there for now. See what how exactly it works. Okay, we're gonna go for the le quick lethal. Change of plans on everything. Quick lethal tactics. 
If, if, if she's gonna play 3-3s three every turn, yeah, we're running. Let's go. Oh, I love this, man. This is awesome. Look at these girls looking around. This is so awesome. I want to see how it looks when I'm in the middle. Uh, red flags of me dying before I get there. Okay, is this thing gonna attack her too? Or or what? Let's let's find out. First of all, it's a 1-1, one -one, so I can kill it with a skeleton. But uh, let, let's play the bone heap here. To see exactly what will happen. Okay, it's fair. So when this arrives, it will do one damage, three to us, and kill its own ally. <laughs> or I can play the Bone Lord Sworn in front of it. Which is what I'm gonna do. And I'm also gonna kill as a friend on my own, so that uh, it does two damage to itself. Let's draw real cards, as I have a bunch of bones now. Uh, Gravedigger. You know what? We play Skeleton here. Gravedigger here. This thing here. And this thing here. Pass. Boop, boop, boop. It's gonna do one for us, nothing, nothing. One for him, one for us. Good job, good job, good job. I love it, I love this card. Good thing I didn't pick it up, by the way. <laughs> so this is dead. Uh, you know what, let's just go with the simple mathematical damage of win, which is just draw two skeletons and win next turn. See what we would have drawn. Would have drawn the sarcophagus, which is not really that good, honestly speaking, but we win anyway. Oh, oh, three damage, easy win. Let's go. Get in the middle. Ooh. I love it, by the way. Uh, let's go with... Let's first see if I want to uh, make something ethereal. Okay, I think I want to do brittle on this. Because it doesn't attack anyway. And if it costs zero, then better for us. Same goes for the spore digger. Same goes for the bone heap. Maybe even make the bone heap zero cost. And then the second thing I... Wait a minute. Am I even allowed to do this? Because I'm pretty sure I did not see these as choices. I, th I, th I remember seeing these as choices, but I don't remember seeing these as choices. So I'm not sure if it's a good idea to go there. Okay, uh, adding sigils on something, I mean, that's gonna definitely happen, so might as well go for that. Uh, wait a minute, if, if it doesn't allow me to put the bone heap in that, what do I want to put on that? What would I want, what do I do, would, would I be, I mean, I'm not okay with this, this or this. Like, these are the three damaging units I have that might get put on there and die. So we're not gonna go there. It, it's too risky, and I'm pretty sure that I was not allowed to put that many things there. Uh, let's go with... Project? Skelemangus? I mean, imagine this thing getting double attack. Although, what have I gotten right now? I have gotten Bunny, which is useless on this. I have gotten... Can I even see what I have gotten? And I don't. I, I've gotten two bad things. Yeah, I remember. I, I've gotten like the thing that directs attack next to each other, and then something else that was also mediocre. Uh, let's put it on the spirit of ember. I mean, imagine getting a bad thing with this on the spirit of ember. Then we lose a card for no reason. Let's put on the bone heap. Yolo. Put on the bone heap. I mean, imagine getting a uh, redirects attack. You know what? If it gets redirects attack, I'm just gonna slam or hammer it. What is this even? Surely your creature could become more powerful. Uh, I'm gonna keep it because I don't want to lose that. But what did I roll? Attacks for energy. Energy gun. Pay one energy to deal one damage to the creature across from a card bearing the sigil. To the creature, only to creatures. This is useless, by the way. Yeah, I should have obviously tried to put it on something better. <laughs> Delightful! We've been granted the opportunity to do a boss battle. I feared that I might be deleted by now. Let us begin. This will be your final test. Yes, one more to be safe. Yeah, classic. We're gonna copy the good, the bad things from the main game, but we're not gonna copy the good things. Oh, do you think me selfish? I did not bring this about simply so that I could rest. Appe appealing as that is, there is a truly dire need for this deletion process. You see, deep beneath the data of inscription, at the very bottom of the well, there is something truly evil. This is awesome. It looks awesome. It really looks awesome. What is this? Uh, this part is not awesome. So this is a 3-2, three, th three I see. A 3-2 that has invert inverted strike. A card bearing the sigil will strike the opposing slot as if the board was flipped. A card in the far left slot will attack the opposite far right slot. So this right now will attack this slot, is what I understand. For 3 damage even. 
And it's also a sprinter, so next turn it's gonna be here and it's gonna attack this slot. Uh, that's what I understand. I want to use the bone heap here to block the hit. And then play Project L, which is a sideways attack plus a skeleton to kill it. So we play this. Low, play this here. Can I use this? It doesn't do anything if there isn't a unit in front of it. Got it. Uh, still, that's what we're gonna do. Pass. Okay, so this should attack here. Thank you. Marvelous, an opportunity to use my quill. I mean, these bones are for us, so... So, seems like when she kills something, she gets it for free instantly. That is not good. I play Project L. Kill this alongside with a skeleton. Banshee. Okay, so we play this here and this here. This should be dead and it should bring this in front. And when I kill that, I get the bones. No matter, death is never final. Uh-oh. We're dead. It's over. It's over, guys. It's over. This thing is gonna do 3 damage to us. Yeah, and the Project L is gonna do 1. So we do 1, we take 3, and then it moves over here, kills this, we gain 4 bones, attacks this, damage itself. This thing is gonna stay where it is and do another 3 to us. I need to draw something that does not die from the Ancient Obol, because I need to play something on this very spot. Actually, I can also get... No. Yeah, I need to draw something that I can play on this spot, like uh, Mycologist. Uh, sarcophagus, not that good. Uh, I can play the Sarcophagus here, so next turn it evolves and kills this, but then the Sarcophagus is gonna go to the other side and we're gonna die. I could also play the Banshee over here, so I block the project. No, I don't have enough bones. Shit. Oops. No, 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 misclick. No, 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 Stupid misclick, man. Misclick. No, no. Why am I clicking to the bones when the thing is here? First of all, why is this here and not back there like the normal game? Ah, it's a 2 2 coming in. Ah, oh, we didn't get a bone. We didn't get anything. Oh. Okay, this attacks left and right, and then we take three. This moves to the left, so it will die. Go to the other side. We get four bones out of this. We take two damage right now, and we die. Yep, if we take two, we die. I cannot play this. I can't play the sarcophagus, though. If I play the sarcophagus on the left, it will get the hit and just die. And it also will spend two bones from us. So, <laughs> no, I need to draw real cards. I need to draw the cards I need to draw. So this attacks left and right, attacks right, we get 4 bones, this is definitely gonna give us the bones by the way. I can guarantee you that. Uh, we take 3 damage from this and now we, we can only take 3 from this. Well actually we're not gonna take 3 from this, it's just gonna kill my project. And I need to play uh, just um, anything on the left, and that anything is gonna be the sarcophagus. Gravedigger, even better, actually a lot better. Wait, I can play the Gravedigger here. It will, it will instantly die, but it will make the project move to the right. Attack this the, this thing alongside a normal card. If I play bo give me a sec. So if I play Gravedigger here, I take two damage instead of three. And I die. I'm not gonna take three damage anyway, because this is gonna move to the left. I cannot play this because it costs five. Okay, let's think the two scenarios. Scenario one, we play Gravedigger here. No, th that's dead. We, we die on the spot, like, th that's not happening. Scenario one, <laughs> we, let's play this out. Gravedigger here. Uh, no, we, we yeah, gra Grave... <laughs> yeah, Gravedigger here. It blocks this hit. This moves, attacks here and here, and then moves to the left. This attacks this uh, project, five dies. Next turn, this gun moves to the left, right, and targets the Grave Digger on the right. This thing is gonna do 2 damage to it, kill it. Slipknot is gonna do another 3 damage to us and kill us completely. Uh, I can't really do that much. I will have the 4 damage next turn, though. I can snipe Slipknot out of whatever he is. Yeah, let's go with Grave Digger on the left. This moves to the left, 
and dies. Gives us four bones. This will give us four bones. I mean, I, I... takes a hit. Moves left. Yep. Inscribed one. Yep, you get that over there. Okay, now I got seven bones. So I can play both of these. And I can also play whatever I draw. So I would say we draw a real card. What is this? It's a one, two. So if I play the Skelemangus here. Okay, it will attack. Kill this and this. It will die. Go to the back line of her units. Attack us on the spot and we die right away. I can I can guarantee you that's what's going to happen. Other chance is we play Skelemangus here. We do four damage and somehow survive i mean we're not surviving this we have too little damage to survive this and this is gonna do two damage trust I, I need to draw a real card see what happens actually okay drown soul that's good so drown soul kills this and then we take one damage per turn can i even play this oh i can okay five damage this kills this this kills this we give him a grave digger who cares then one damage comes in does one damage trust per turn i will only take one damage from that and then i'm gonna kill that too I'm just gonna need to buy time from the from the Frankenstein here. I play the Drowned Soul, for sure. And I think I even play this for the 3 damage next turn. Is that gonna be enough? But I'm gonna give him a 3-3 if I do that. I want to play Skill Among Us the, the, the moment I win. I can play the Banshee here to do some damage each turn. Yeah, let's play the Banshee to do a da 1 damage each turn. Ah, let me inscribe this one. Yeah, you get the... You get that. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Did he play? Ah, oh, yeah, who cares? We control the board. We control the board. Don't play something crazy. It's a 1-1. One, one. It's gonna kill my... It's gonna kill my Banshee. It's okay. We're doing... 3 damage. And we lose the Banshee. Like, who cares? It's a flyer. We don't care about flyers around here. Spore Digger. That's a good card. Kill my flyer. It's okay. No matter death is final. No matter death is final. Hey, 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 hey. Look at this. Look at this. The double death is actually paying back. It's killing us. The double death is killing us. Very nice. We gotta love that, man, when it happens. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? Um, we're winning here. Is this 3 damage? Or is this 1, 2, 3? I think it's 3, right? We are... Give me a sec. One, two, three, four, five. Middle. One, two, three, four. I'm not sure. I will play another. I will play another attack. We do four damage here. I don't care. YOLO. Let's see what next phase is and let's hope for the best. No matter, death will never. Yeah, okay, you get the one one. Is he gonna remove the cards? Yes. I will make you weak. I hate you for it. Behold, my latest creation, the twin giants. Behold, you cannot see it. Is this even tested? Can I? Okay, the twin di giants are here. Hello? Hello? It bugged out. Here we go, start screen. I don't know, man. I don't know. This is like my fourth run right now. First we died at first boss. Then we died at second boss. Then I died at first boss again two times. I died in the first boss three times. So this is my fifth run, actually. And um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I, you know what, from all the things that this mod has, the worst part is that the mod creator came along and told me I made the fights easier because you asked for it. And this is what I get. Oh man. Oh man. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? I, I, I'm waiting to read the comments that say, yo, if you did this and this and this and this and this, it was a one shot, man. Are you crazy? This wasn't a hard fight. This was you not playing correctly. Uh, we're gonna take three damage here. Because this is gonna die, this is gonna come down, we're gonna take three damage no matter what. And this is gonna move to the left. Can't do anything about it. I don't have enough boats. I can't hammer slammer, but I'm gonna give him a card if I do that. Ah, this moves randomly. I just remembered. This this moves randomly. That's why I'm not understanding what's happening with my movement. Ah, stop being negative. Stop being negative. Tutu is coming in. 
think we're good. I can kill this if I play... Wait, what's coming along right now? The Gravedigger. So... Just play this. Here, block this hit. Tank, tank. Move to the... Wherever it moves, doesn't matter. Yep, you get the Gravedigger. That thing dies. This thing is gonna come in and kill my project. Get the poison. Can I win right now? No, nope, of course not. I can backline kill both of these by giving him the skill among us. Can play the ground soul here to kill this and then also this. But honestly, of all these choices, I think the best one is ground soul kills this. Uh, so, wait, this kills this. This moves to the left. And it actually survives. Do I survive? I play the flyer on the very left. Let's play the flyer on the very left. Okay. This is the my Frankenstein. Uh, yeah, we're gonna give him this thing. But uh, what to do? I need more bones. Ah, yes, of course. Dead. Dead. Are we dead? Take two. I'm willing to lose at this point. Like, it's not fun for me anymore, man. It's it's not fun. I don't know. I don't know. I, I know a lot of people say, play what you find fun and stuff. And actually, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just try. I'm obviously going to try to win here. But um, if we lose, we lose. Like, it's, it's time. I mean, I just realized that I gave him, like, double banshees again. So, yeah. I mean... It's over. We lose. Here, give him double banshees. Of course, of course. Everything is against us in this game. Everything is against us. Okay. What's the next card? It's a grave digger. Um, I mean, I don't need to play anything. I'm not gonna play anything. Yes, of course. Poisonous. Poisonous against Frankenstein. Of course. Of course. Uh, whatever. Try real card. Bone Lord, whatever. Mm, I can give him some Bone Lords if I want. At least backline damage Frankenstein kill him. Now we take a hit. You know what? I'm willing to trade the Banshee for two Skeletons. Cancel that. I'm not gonna willing willing to do that. Bobbity Bobbity. Three damage. We take one. Of course he pays the Reaper. Yeah, this time my Frankenstein is actually dead. Uh, play the Skeleton. Give him two Skeletons. Yeah, but everything comes in. Frankenstein's dead. Give him a Frankenstein. Scalamangus. I think he's gonna get one, but we're winning right now. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's see. Guys, I'm sorry I'm so negative, but... Ah! Ah, I see, I see. What is this? Giant strike. A card behind the sigil will will strike each opponent's space. Ah, very nice. Well, good thing I have poisons there. I'm gonna play Spirit of Ember here, so that it attacks and moves. We are running. I'm also gonna play the Bone Lord's Wound. It needs energy. Uh, I'm also gonna play a Grave Digger. I die. Ah, yes, of course. Poison immune. Yeah, of course, because this mod has to have everything. This touch won't help you here, dear. I made these gens special because I want to not lose immune to quite a few different attracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, game. Yes, game. Yes, game. Yes, game. It's so fun to be extremely broken. It's so fun to be extremely broken, man. It's so fun for Leshy to be broken as a mechanic and as a gameplay in general. Uh... At least they don't have that much life. But I don't have like, that much life either. Skeleton. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna lose if I play the skeleton. If we take two more hits, we're dead. And one of the hits is gonna be this thing. Uh... We take two damage from this. Yeah, next turn we lose. I cannot win. There is uh, there is no way of winning. 
Like, if I hammer slammer this, the drowned soul, um, because I need to, because we're gonna lose, because it's underwater, uh, then I can play one, two, three, all of them will die. You know what? Let's buy ourselves one more turn. That's it. That's it, pretty much. Yeah, okay. I, I don't care. Three strikes and it's out. I don't care, honestly. Here. One, two, three. Done. Pass. Here. Do two damage. Lose all my void. Yeah, obviously. Here. Let's play this. Into this. Into this. One, two, three. And now because these attacks are actually me on my life points, we lose. As simple as that, man. This, this, no. I, 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 no, I don't like it. I don't like the mod, man. I, I like, actually, no, no. I like the mod. I hate the difficulty. I hope we have just a little more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, I'm, I'm out. It's, it's enough. Enough for me. I know a lot of people have told me, yo, Sift, it's not fun when you're negative. And, and yeah, actually true. Future Sift here. And uh, I decided to cut my past stuff off there because... I was a bit too negative and flew off the rails for about a 20 minute uh, rant about how, I don't know, how broken everything is. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's uh, sum everything up in a quick outro here, which quick means 5 minutes plus, you know, maybe a bit less than 10, I don't know. Anyway, so, first of all, shout out to Ara and the team that created this mod. A lot of work has been put into this. I will have a link in the description to where to download the mod, and you can also see who worked on the mod there, and then also a description on how to play mods if you want. Mm -hmm. Now, for um, Ara, you can say whatever you want, you know, classic, first say something like, I'm Ara, or I'm the mod creator, or whatever you want to say, and then you can say whatever you want. I'm gonna just pin your comment. If you want to shout out somebody or say something, it's yours. Now, let's go into the, I mean, my, my opinions. I like the mod in general. I like the whole feeling and aesthetic of it. The boards were fun, especially the last one with the um, skulls looking at you. I enjoyed really. <laughs> I, I love that. Uh, I do understand how much work has been put into this. Like uh, the custom events, custom boss fights, custom... Uh, fi oh, every single fight is custom made, obviously. Uh, those fights don't exist in the normal inscription. Um, what else? Like custom boss mechanics, a bunch of things. Uh, you know, models, etc. Also custom the mask or custom, you know, everything. So I I see the work being done. So good job, everybody. I don't know what to say. I'm a bit awkward here. Anyway, I enjoy the graphics. The feeling is there. I mean, nice. And uh, now for let's go into the gameplay because you know that's why I should talk about honestly the events. I liked, I really enjoyed the event where you cut the cost of one of your cards in half and uh, put Brittle on it. Uh, because you can choose on what card to put that to have the maximum effect. Obviously, I should not have put it on the gravestone, but yeah, I was experimenting. You know, sometimes I'm not perfect. Uh -huh. Anyway, the other two events I didn't enjoy, honestly. I didn't enjoy the throwaway card to get whatever. A random buff or debuff on a random unit like who cares like it, it was a non-existing event and then the other event was uh, put the random sigil on a unit which could by the way be negative um or, or nothing it could also be nothing it could give you something that's completely relevant negative being maybe flying maybe underwater uh, depending on the unit uh, nothing being i don't know instead of attacking this unit it attacks the next one next to it or I, I i know i got a good unit i know i got a good sigil and threw it away but still uh let's continue now for the difficulty of the mod which i think is uh, the main problem and why it was negative i thought about it a bit honestly let's go first through the bosses as fast as possible and then i'm gonna say my whole opinion at the end first boss i think there should be a timer at the first half so we know when we're gonna freeze because it really feels weird not understanding if you have to play a bunch of units or a few units or if you have to play brittle units so they're out of the board or you know you have to dance around until you understand what's happening or you have to look at the console um now i mean at the second half it just continues the same so it's it's i mean i think it, there just needs to be a better explanation of what is happening something some indicator that the units will get frozen the next turn whenever, whenever you play a card something happens i don't know anyway second boss i think it was the first half was okay i mean it just steals cards from you uh, coins from you which is fair enough the second half feels really out of the blue like literally uh i mean i i think i overbuffed it somehow and it became a 13 7 or whatever but even if it's like just a 3 7 or a 5 7 it has block everything and uh, grimoire also plays things from behind at the same time so a lot of things are happening really quickly there and it's, it's as if you're playing the moon phase, the first half. 
it, he, it's it's literally a 5-7 that blocks everything. So it's as if it's a mole man, but instead of being a 0-6, it's a 5-7. And instead of you having the most broken deck in the universe because you're playing Inscription, well, you have the bone deck here and you play two units per turn. So yeah, you see why it's a bit hard. But if you have a poisonous unit, you obviously destroy that. So I don't enjoy the fact that you have to bring a poisonous with you or you have to bring an explosive with you. Otherwise, you will have a problem. I don't like that aspect. I guess it forces you to create a deck. But okay, let's continue after that. Third boss, I enjoyed it a lot. I really like the fact that it puts like fuses on things and then everything explodes. Uh, it would be nice if we have an indicator on when the fuse is gonna get out, like when it's gonna happen. As if, you know, the... How does the, the hook work? You know, the, the angler thing. You could maybe somehow... I mean, I'm, I'm asking already more than already is put into this. But how insane would it be if you can dangle the bomb above something? You know? Anyway, uh, let's continue. Because, I mean, this is not their job. Obviously, they do this because they enjoy it. So you can do whatever I want, you want. And I can, you know, throw my opinion however I want. Let's continue. Final boss. I think the first half should not steal your brittle cards. Because if you play a skeleton that's a 1-1, one, one, you do 1 damage to her, she copies at the same moment exactly, and attacks you back with it, and you get hit for 1 damage the next turn. So you can only play brittle cards if it's lethal. Otherwise, you literally did nothing. Because she steals them and attacks the same exact turn. I think they should make it so that she doesn't steal brittle. Not delay the brittle attack, straight up don't steal it. I mean, it's, it's already a hard fight. Anyway, uh, now, for uh, the second half, I believe it's a bit too hard. I don't know why you decided to make it so that poisons doesn't work and other tricks, quote unquote, because it's already two units. So, I, I mean, if I'm going to kill it with a poison unit, who cares? Like, the, the as far as I know, the mod has only two poison units. If it has more than, I'm sorry, but I think it's just the Plague Doctor, which is a six cost one one. So it's an extremely mediocre card uh, other than the fact that you need it. And then the other one is the one I had, the soul, which it was pretty decent. I have to say the, the soul was decent. Now, if you have those cards, as you saw, the soul already has a problem with these things, but I, I guess it has a problem because it didn't kill it. But still, you take four dam uh, two damage on every single lane every turn after those things spawn, and you have to kill them as fast as possible, and they will definitely get atta an attack through to you. And if you use brittle units, you might damage them, but the next turn you get hit for two. So it's... It's a bit too much in my I I don't know. Just I think just making it so they die from poisons would be enough. Or or and here comes my summary. Here I'm gonna turn everything around. And I'm gonna say the, the smart thing. <laughs> I thought about this a lot, and I think the problem is not that the game is too hard. I'm I'm not sure. I don't think that um the bosses are too hard. I think, by the way, only the boss kill you most of the time. The rest of the mod is very balanced. I think. Uh, the problem is, and the reason I got frustrated, is that you cannot power up yourself enough. You cannot do what you're supposed to do in Inscription, and in card games in general, by the way. For example, what was the awesome thing in Inscription at the beginning? Wasn't it the 7-7 flying triple strike Rayuli that you got as a death card? Wasn't it Uroboros being a 50-50, the fecundities? You know, becoming broken was the fun thing to do. And in general, uh, I thought about this, and in this mod, I cannot think how you can create something broken. And uh, I think that's my problem. Like, this tries to go the Dark Souls route. The route where you're supposed to have very few resources, you're supposed to know what you're supposed to do, and then you beat the mod, right? I think that is what this mod tries to achieve, and as far as I'm concerned, it achieves that, okay? So if you enjoy that playstyle, then go ahead and play this. I'm not sure this is for me, uh, if something huge happens, you know, and they put more, mo uh, like, make it more clean and uh, put, like, some bombs in and make easy mode active because if needs to play in easy mode and, you know, they change some things, then maybe I'm gonna play this again. I mean, if they add the fuse on the third boss, I'm gonna do a mini video saying that they added the fuse I requested, okay? So you get that. Now, for, in my opinion, if you want to make this mod more fun, in my opinion, once again, you don't need to make the fights harder, uh, easier. Not, don't make the fights easier. Do not nerf the bosses. Just make us be more powerful. Get more, better cards or uh, get an event that's a bit more positive. Like, I, I didn't like the graveyard. I mean, I love the graveyard event, but I didn't like the random sigils. What? Uh, maybe you can show me the sigil and let me choose if I want to YOLO for it or not. 
you know, or, or giving me like a choice of three sigils. And if I press it, then boom, the electrified chance happens. I don't know. You can you can keep the feeling of the, the, the thing, but make it more, you know, make us able to use the events to create a broken deck. That's my opinion on how this could be more fun. Obviously, it would make it more easy because with broken decks, everything becomes easier. But in my opinion, it would be more fun. And I think I'm going to end this here. This is like my final thought. So let's end this here. Once again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, upside the channel. And if you want to say your opinions, just comment down below. Agree, disagree. You know, I would like to share some opinion this whole matter. Maybe give a whole different spin on whatever I said or just a whole different idea in general. Maybe the mod is going to watch it. Maybe they're going to, you know, catch something and going to be like, oh, that's like a good idea. Forget what about Sift said. This guy says we're going to make everything harder. That's what I'm going <laughs> to... I'm kidding, by the way. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. So if you enjoyed, um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy that you enjoyed. And I would like to ask something else too. Is future sift more cool or is past sift more cool? That is the main question. And maybe that is also in sift out of context today. Ah, it's not that much out of context. It's just a normal sentence that people say. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.